Did you know why colors are an important part of Holi celebration? From where it is actually originated? We shall find out in this video. Stay tuned till the end to understand the true reason behind it. Holi is an ancient festival of India and was originally known as Holika, which is celebrated on the full moon day in the month of Palgu. Holi has been mentioned in the ancient religious books like Gemini's Purvamimansa Sutra, which was originally written around 300 to 200 BC, and Kathaka Griha Sutra, which is also known as Logakshi. Even the temples of ancient India have sculptures of Holi on walls. One of this is a temple from the 16th century in Hampi, the capital of Vijayanagar. The temple has many scenes from Holi sculpted on its walls, showing princes and princesses along with their maids holding pichkaris or water cannons to throw water on royals. Many medieval paintings such as 16th century Ahmednagar painting, Mewad painting, Bundi painting all have depicted Holi celebrations in one way or the other. We all know the common mythology associated with Holi is the burning of Holika into ashes who was the sister of Hiranyakashyap who wanted to take revenge from Lord Vishnu for killing his brother. Pralad, who was the son of Hiranyakashyap, was an ardent devotee of Lord Vishnu. Hiranyakashyap hatched a plan with her sister Holika who was immune to fire to sit on a pyre of fire with Pralad in order to burn him. After this, Lord Vishnu killed Hiranyakashyap. The defeat of Holika signifies the burning of all that is bad. But how did colors actually became an important part of Holi? Well, this dates back to the period of Lord Krishna who was one of the Tara of Lord Vishnu. The story goes that Lord Krishna fell in love with Radha, but he was embarrassed that his skin was dark blue and hers being fair. In order to remove such stark difference of skin tone, he playfully colored her face during a game with her and other friends. This came to be an origin of the use of colors and playing with water which later on called as pichkaris or water cannons in the contemporary period. The general merrymaking is also seen as characteristic of Krishna who is known for his pranks and playful attitude. In the earlier times, colors used in Holi were extracted from the flowers of Tesu or Palash trees, which is locally known as Gulal. Such colors did not have an adverse impact on the skin due to absence of harmful chemicals in it. But today, people have started using harsh colors made from chemicals which are quite toxic for the health of the living beings in general. And that is why many people avoid celebrating this festival. We must understand that we should enjoy this age-old festival with true spirit of festivity and not to undermine its essence. Please do like, share and subscribe on all notifications for regular updates.